All right. You've probably heard the word percentile. Um, probably not as much as someone like me, because once you have a kid, you hear percentile all the time. You take your kid into the doctor for their very first checkup, and they're like, they're in the 27th percentile for weight. And if you have children like mine, they're in the 99th percentile for their heads. I am not kidding. All of my children, actually my first two, Ha they were in the 99th percentile for their head size for like their entire lives. My oldest, he's 10. He still wears like, he has to wear an adult size hat for everything. Like his head is huge. Anyway, that's off top, off topic. But percentile is a way that they tell how much area under the curve is below you. Okay. So imagine that we're talking about my son and his ginormous head. Okay, so we have this normal curve that is what most people's, you know, head size was, right? So you have the kids with really little heads over here and the kids with gigantic heads over here. And the majority of people have head sizes when they're first born of about here or weights or heights. All of these things are measured in percentiles. So um, I'm just talking about head size because my kids are ridiculous. Anyway, so if my son is in the 99th percentile for head size, what that means is if this is his head size right here, okay, the area under the curve below him is 99% of people, okay? So the area under the curve below him is 99% of other people, okay? So that's what percentile means, is the area to the left of whatever that is, is 99% or whatever percent lower or um, anyway, the area under the curve is 99% of the data that we would get. So if you are in the 10th percentile for height, what does that mean? Well, that means here you are for your height, and it means that 10% of the people in the curve are below you, okay? So the 10th percentile means 10% of people in the data set are gonna be to the left of you on the curve, and therefore 90% of people are gonna be to the right of you. So you are actually quite short if you are in the 10th percentile. And we talk about this with scores a lot of times. You'll see you're in the 50th or 75th percentile. Say you're in the 75th percentile for your score. That means your score falls here on the curve somewhere, right? And that if we looked at the data, 75% of people scored lower than you on a test if you were in the 75th percentile. So 75% of people scored lower and 25% of people scored higher. That is, in a nutshell, what percentile means.